What's up, MPD Nation? This is 3X, and this is probably a sound that you've never heard before or haven't heard in a long time. Going old school PlayStation right now. This little ditty is a game that goes by the name of One, which, as you can see from the legal screen there, was released all the way back in 19. 1997 by an American Software Corporation ASC Games and developed by Visual Concepts yes the same Visual Concepts that is now responsible for the NBA 2K games series and also the NFL 2K games when they were doing that before they were the kings of virtual athletics they came out with a little known action shooter that is what you are seeing right now and what you're seeing right now here is how the game begins that guy right there is our protagonist John Kane who wakes up in an abandoned apartment building with uh, prosthetics strapped to him a freaking hand cannon cybernetic implants all the rest of that jazz and all of a sudden, he's got whoever the hell it is trying to kill him. I don't know whether they're military. I don't know whether they're police. I just know that they're heavily armed and heavily armored. And they want John Kane dead for whatever reason. And that is pretty much where the premise of the game goes. You could call it a manhunt, a chase down, an APB, whatever it is. They want him dead, and he wants them dead. And that pretty much equals to a lot of shooting and blowing things up. Fun for the whole family. So yeah, the system that goes on in one is called Rage. The Rage Gauge which is that little hexagonal cube that you see on the bottom right hand corner. Uh, as you continue on and destroy stuff and uh, kill your enemies, you increase your rage gauge. And as you take gam damage, it decreases. Uh, the rage gauge will change colors as you progress, which will increase your rate of fire on your standard cannon going from green to yellow to red here as you can see and then kind of a glowing bluish color which right there is maximum rage which is maximum fire rate and maximum damage you can pretty much see the difference in the rate of fire so this is the stage, first stage of course, where you start out being chased down by this helicopter or hovercraft or whatever the heck it is. Obviously it's not going to be the last time that you're going to see him throughout this stage, but we're about to get to one of the points here that made this game one of the most difficult I've ever remembered playing on the uh, PlayStation 1. That being the platforming. The pitfalls on this game are insane, to say the least. You wind up dying more from the pitfalls than you do actually getting killed by the enemies. In some cases, like right here, Jesus Christ. You could be running and then all of a sudden, you're falling. Like, he literally shoots the ground right from underneath you. And if you're not on your P's and Q's, you will be falling into a deep, dark abyss. And no, I'm not meaning to sound like some form of emo goth guy there. Literally. Some of the stuff that you have to go through here is just crazy. Like this sequence right here. You've pretty much seen stuff like this happen in other games, but imagine it with stuff exploding all around you. And the ground falling right underneath your feet. Jeez. This was back in the day where you didn't play the games you didn't beat the games 
The games beat you. I kind of sound old, don't I? Back when I was your age. So while I have this chance, let me talk a little bit about what you can expect to see from my channel. Uh, really action-oriented stuff. I play a lot of uh, shooters, fighting games, uh, sports games, you know, really, really exciting stuff where things get either beat up, shot up, or blown up. And uh, also sports, uh, racing games, you know, just really, really action-oriented gameplay and action games in general. Along with uh, random commentaries, I might throw up some news bits or rumors about certain games that I'm looking forward to getting my hands on in the near and distant future. And just overall a focus on the games themselves and my overall experience with the games is what my channel is basically all about. And speaking of experiences with the games, this experience right here, oh my goodness, this part right here. And keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first stage. I had to go through this like 10 times, literally. The platforming is that crazy. It looks easy here, but imagine you trying to make these jumps while you have a freaking hovercraft shooting flamethrowers at you. Not a very fun experience. Well, kind of fun, but very frustrating. Especially this part right here. This jump, like you have to be pinpoint in your double jump to make that height of a jump there and get up on that range. Which I did after maybe the fourth or fifth try. But now we'll reach the top. Of course, you can't shoot him here. You have to wait till you get to the top, and then you're able to do damage to him. And it's not even direct damage. You can't really shoot the guy and take him out. You got to take out these pillars and have them fall on top of him. Very creative. They did have a very good game on their hands when they came out with one back in 97. The tragic part, unfortunately, is that there was never a sequel made to this game. Which is a shame because this was a really, really solid shooter that maybe didn't get as much press as it should have. Considering the fact that it was released by a uh, relatively unknown game developer. This was actually the second game that Visual Concepts made under the ASC banner. The first was actually a fighting game which is called Perfect Weapon. I'll be doing a playthrough of that eventually as well uh, this is also a PlayStation exclusive so sorry Xbox folks you won't be getting it it's only six bucks on PSN I would really suggest going out and getting this and getting yourself a taste of some old-school gaming that whips your ass speaking of whipping ass I'm about to finish him off here and that's gonna pretty much close out this video You'll see all the stats and everything like that. I'm actually going to continue this playthrough here on MPD Nation. I'll be submitting uh, the second stage, second part of the playthrough next week. And I want to give a big shout out to the MPD Nation for making this possible and giving smaller channels like this the chance to get their shine on. Big shout out to you guys. And I hope all of you have enjoyed this video and will join me for the next one. Until then, this is 3X and I am out. See ya.